What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, share and definitely subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to see more content like this. Now then, I've got a little bit of an update for all of you Nosferatu fans and I know there's quite a few of you out there. I've been waiting and looking for updates. I know that the film has wrapped. I think it wrapped in May or June. They spent a month filming the movie that filmed in Prague etc however Robert Eggers apparently uh, said it was a difficult shoot Too hard, damn it. in this article here he explains uh, Robert Eggers Robert Eggers reflects on a difficult Nosferatu shoot I'm trying to go beyond what I'm capable of and we know he's capable of quite a lot <laughs> now then whether he's camping out on the edge of a deep dark wood in the witch pitching up on a rain lashed rock in the lighthouse or staging epically muddy Viking battle sequences in the Northman, filmmaker Robert Eggers hasn't been known to take the easy route. The director's work often feels primal and ancient as if freshly unearthed after being lost for hundreds of years, excoriatingly authentic and he's not holding back for his fourth feature because next up Eggers has taken on Nosferatu. So he's following in the footsteps of F.W. Murnau who made Nosferatu in, way back in 1921, which was a little bit of a rip-off of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Are you serious? There was a whole load of controversy surrounding it, if you don't know what I mean. Look it up or go and watch my first Nosferatu video that I did that explains that the, the widow of Bram Stoker basically took the filmmakers to court because she said it was a direct copy of the actual Dracula novel. So the court awarded in her favour and said that all of the prints had to be destroyed. Luckily for us film goers and film fans, a couple of copies were kept. There was a remake made in, I think it was 1973. Was it 73 or 79? It was made by Werner Herzog. Uh, it starred Klaus Kinski as the titular vampire. Uh, have brought new life to cinema's most significant vampire tale. As you'd expect, Eggers is going all out. This is what he had to say when he was interviewed by Empire. He said, I'm trying to go beyond what I am capable of. As always, it was a difficult shoot. Last night, we were doing a scene on a ship with a lot of rain and waves. And the rain deflector, which tries to blow rain out of the lens, was breaking down and fogging. Expect another earthy and elemental film from a director who isn't afraid to put himself in the middle of the maelstrom. I spent the past several days working only with Russian sailors on a boat, he says. Thankfully, the scale of the Northman helped prepare the director for another big, bold project. Though he's been trying to make his vampire movie for nearly a decade now. I'm so happy to have made the Northman first and to have learned what I learned, he says. When I think about the production plan of Nosferatu that we had the first time around, I'm sure I would have somehow pulled it out of my butt. But it's hard not to imagine it being a failure. Nosferatu is once again reteaming Eggers with a regular collaborator, Willem Dafoe. Willem's up for anything and he'll cut his arm off for the scene, the director says while reflecting on the lighthouse. He is a fucking pleasure to work with. He was in The Northman. He was in the upcoming Nosferatu. I hope I never make a movie without him. Just how about a nice sunny beach comedy next time, eh, Robert? So, nightmare. Foggy lenses, rain and Russian sailors. And he got through it and I think what he's saying about making the Northman, the Northman looked fucking bleak man. I mean filming up in the mountains with, with no none to little cover from the elements. You've got to be some kind of uh, maverick battle hardened filmmaker and he's only this, he's only onto his fourth movie. So yeah the obviously that movie stood him in good stead for this like getting lashed with rain and god knows what. Obviously, it's a vampire movie. It's going to be dark and scary and rainy and windy and horrible to get that effect. It's one of the generic conventions of horror movies. Dark, rain, thunder, lightning, horribleness. But he got through it. It's looking like this movie's going to come out next year. I can't see anything that's saying otherwise. I don't think we're going to get it this year. I think, personally, it's going to be out in Halloween 2024. That's my speculation. What do you think of Robert Eggers? What do you think of his work ethic? What do you think of the people that's going to be in the movie? Um, we've got Aaron Taylor Johnson, Nicholas Holt, we've got Willem Dafoe, Lily Rose Depp, uh, amongst other people. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below as ever. This is just a little update today just to let you know what's happening, give an insight into what's gone on during the production. Can't seem to find any behind the scenes photos as is at the minute. Uh, I'll be working my socks off trying to find something to bring to you because I know there are people out there who are looking forward to this movie. I am, for one, definitely looking forward to it. 
let me know what you think in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video bye bye now